Alrighty. Oop. So now the level's going to be expanded because, um, basically you can either go uh, talk to Bentley or you can um, go after this thief. And this is primarily why I wanted to um, get that egg later because I can do the glide and all the platforming I need to do and get the key as well. Um, so if anything, I might make that egg the last thing I need to collect, maybe? I'm going up here because that's a gem. I don't even know which way the thief is going currently. Well, lost the thief, so I guess I'll just go up here. Get everything I need to have here. Hello. There we go. Just saw a gem I missed too, so I'm glad I got that pan. Cute name. I actually, I really like that name, Grace. Um, people who will keep up for me many years from now, if I ever have a firstborn daughter, um, if I name her Grace, then we know where, um, where I got the name from. <laughs> There's the thief. He looks like me. Let's see if I can take care of this thief again. But this time with feeling. But first I want to unlock some stuff. Alright, let's take care of Mr. Blue Guy over here. I was gonna say, if he actually flew right towards me, that would've been great. Hello? There you go. Dang, how'd he get that far? Come on. I only want to talk. Before I go back to chase him, I forgot that. Now cut. It's like Spar Sparrow's like, ooh, a crystal from the hit video game series, Crash Banuka. Uh, good. All right. Well, now to do Bentley's stuff. Good evening, Spyro. The amazing Randini is about to put on a display of prestidigitation. I've heard that it's quite impressive, so I'm going to watch the show. Diamond Child Love Bentley. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is still hands down my favorite character in the game. Not to control, mind you, but I just love his enthusiasm and high level of vocabulary. Couldn't expect anything different from uh, Neil Ross. What kind of show is this, my friend? I'm afraid my magic show seems to have overexcited the moles. They need a good bonk on the head to calm them down. And you look like just the man to help. A light tap on the head should sort them out. But watch out for my friends. They're trying to burrow after them. So, 
This one is, I guess we can say the trouble with the trolley um, kind of game because you can be reckless, but you can also be smart and hopefully have enough time and don't panic. Yeah, you're getting time, but don't try to look at the clock because that's going to make you very distraught as I look over it and see I almost wanted to hit a friend of him. Ooh. Yep! Yeah, that... That happened. I got distracted by the thunder, and I don't know, it got picked up by the mic. Um, but, yeah. So this one might be a little tough, because I'm towards the end of the game, and I haven't really died that much, so the game's going to be like, oh, yeah, you only get 55 seconds to do this. Instead of, like, a minute 30. Okay. Are you? Yep. Oh, that didn't hit him. Come on. Ah, they're, they're all over. I feel like my hitbox is gonna... Come on, hit them. So why am I getting timed? I just not thought about that. Why am I getting timed? Did he say like, I have to put on the show in 10 seconds? And I'm about to... Ooh. Well done! And look, one of my friends dug up this whilst chasing the moles. Thank you, Bobby. Alright. I think he says what happens um, as well. I'm gonna talk to him after I get these last few gems. Boop and boop. And boop. Sweet. I'm afraid I've had to cancel my next performance. One of the moles ate all my magic cards. Rip off! <laughs> All right, time to head to uh, Sparta, which also this level right here. Well, I'll wait a few seconds. You must be Spyro. A lot of people are talking about all the things you've done for them. Do you think you could help find my girlfriend, Tara? She went off to raid the tomb of the stone golem, and I haven't seen her since. I'd go look inside the tomb myself, but you know there's all these scorpions and stuff. This right here. He's shivering. <laughs> um... This is hands down the best level in the whole game. I'm sorry, this is like my favorite to go fast in. It's a platform and fun. It has such a crazy aesthetic. It's on fire! <laughs> and even though those enemies that set the uh, flames um, on the grid thing or whatever you want to call it, yeah, they can be annoying, but it's not stopping me. I love this level. This is... Woo! It's so big too! That's the other reason. But it is like, you can speed through it, and you can take your time. I just, I just, I'm sorry, I really, really, really love this level. Ow. I'm so, I, I'm so in love with it that I'm playing recklessly. Woohoo! Even Sheila section. Like, we'll get to Sheila section, like, very early on. But I like her section. I kind of wish there was more kind of levels like that. Um... Mind you, we kind of got it for, like, Agent 9. I don't think the Scorpion gave me a gem or... or ooh! Sparks didn't collect it. Now, mind you, I know I said... Like, um, Wizard Peak was, like, my favorite level, and I just got, like, very confused. Ooh. This is the wrong way of going about this. But I need help. <laughs> Thank you. 
But I'm sorry, I, I just really, really enjoy everything that has to go with this level. Although the enemies are playing very dirty right now, so I gotta hang on to Sparks as much as I can. Come on. Doop, doop, doop. Okay. Just what I needed. Life. Okie dokie. Let's go over here, collect you somehow. <laughs> Andy! It's you. Like I said, I'll do a Sheila section and just a good little bit. But yeah, like this cave is pretty cool. Thanks for getting that, Sparks. I was getting kind of worried. Sorry for snapping my fingers. I'm not going to edit that out, but I usually do that in between moments where I need to stretch. Doop, doop, and... Wow, the flame takes that out. I didn't know you could do that. I was just doing it as a joke. I'm just here to collect this key again. That was a bad charge jump. But you know where I'm going with this key, so... Yeah, it, it, this level can go by fast. Like, mind you, I was at the halfway point, but, like, I really do enjoy this level. There's a lot of platforming, and it just feels fast. I think the music helps, too, by how hectic it can feel. So, yeah, I should have done this level last. Okay, let's uh, get uh, that. Cool, an extra one up. How many lives do I have? 53? Wow, I'm going to buy this quickly. Okie doke, okie doke, and okie doke. Now let's take care of Sparks' fun. Not Sparks, Sheila's. Ooh, almost forgot about you. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of routes you can take in this level, too. Hi, Spyro. Haven't seen you in a while. I'm just off for a bit of a walkabout right now. You know, sometimes you just long for the simple, old-fashioned pleasures of yesteryear, don't you? Ooh. So this is a very interesting thing, too. Like, the bigger scorpions aren't big, per se. They're a different color, too. But if you look at the skin color when I do destroy the usual big scorpions, yeah, it's the color they are here. So I feel like this was, like, an oversight from the devs, or... I don't know. I, I don't know. How, I, I, I wish I asked... Ooh! That was almost bad. I wish I asked. I have a friend who currently works for Insomniac Games. And I could have asked him, like, hey, can you ask any of the devs who worked on uh, the Spyro Trilogy, Ted, and all that stuff, like, why certain things I've always noticed, or what was a thing they originally planned. But I never wanted to do that because, one, they're working hard on making the next Ratchet and Clank and, like, Spider-Man 3, of course, or at this moment, maybe the Spider-Man 2 DLC and Wolverine. So... I didn't really want to bother him that much. Um, his name is Joshua Noble, by the way. He works the environmental design, or the principal environmental layout artist. I'm trying to remember the exact uh, title. Forgive me, Josh. Um, but yeah, no, I would have loved to question him about us up. Hey, Peach Dragon, get it? <laughs> 